Hey, what's up? It's Mike D. We're doing that food review I was telling you about. So Tully's is a Detroit sandwich. Started in the 60s. I think it's 1968 it says on the label. Yep. <laughs> got a big old sandwich. I got the jumbo sandwich, not the... Not the small tiny one. I got a decent sized sandwich. It's not the long sandwich. Chill. <laughs> but anyway, I want to compare it to some of the sandwiches I had up north. And I mean, I had some down south too, but I want to just tell you what I think. If I like Michigan local food, Detroit local food, I don't know. But I'll tell you what I think of the food. Dun, dun, dun. It's probably gonna be really good, dude. You're not gonna wanna miss this. We get the huge sandwich, bruh. Oh my gosh. A big one. Ooh, toasty, the little, little tomato, little sauce. Lettuce. First thing, I'm gonna eat the sandwich, so. Wow, you can you can see the sauce. It looks pretty good, except the steak and cheese looks pretty Gucci. I don't even lie, it looks delicious. It looks really good. Nice. You got the the toasted bread. Flavorful, but you can see a little bit of lettuce falling off. I hate when that happens on my sandwich. Don't you hate that? The flavor, I couldn't really taste. I don't know. I couldn't really taste the lettuce and tomato too much. But I tasted the sauce for sure. But it was pretty good. The steak's not like crunchy. It's kind of chewy. The peppers kind of pop too. Pop. With a little onion pop. That's really good. Gonna definitely smack this sandwich. But right now, I'll give you a, a preliminary rating. Alright. Now it's a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. I'll give it like a, I'll give it a seven and a half. All right, it's pretty good. Honestly, the sauce is a little bit strong, but that's still good. It doesn't take away from the steak and the peppers and some of it. The lettuce and tomato in here, I don't know. It's not perfect, but it's a good sandwich. I really like it. Now, freaking nerds. I got the freaking seasoned fry, and I swear there was one of the regular fries in my bag. I swear it was. In fact, if I take a look, I also got some jalapeno poppers, too. So first, I'll rate the seasoned fries. Uh, I got a bag of seasoned fries. They're curly fries, kind of like Arby's style. If you ever had Arby's, it's pretty good. Definitely smack him. I could have a ton of these. Flavorful. Not too crunchy. Chewy. Mm. I like the seasoning too. <laughs> I don't know if the camera's getting all this, but it's pretty good. And I got the poppers with it. <laughs> I got a poster in the background. I put the My Hero Academia poster over my Fallout poster. Because it's time for something new in the video. I don't know if you can see it that well, but yeah, let me get a little closer. My Hero Academia. Got my Mario poster. 
something just just fun for the camera. My closet is still filled with a bunch of clothes, and I got my jerseys and whatnot. We'll, we'll move past that. All right. Let's get back to the, to the food review. Right, as you can see, it's a nice sunny day. I'm gonna try the the poppers. So I I give the fries like. A seven and a half two they're not the best they're not the worst good flavor I could definitely eat them with most of the meals I think let's try the poppers and see if they compare pretty good mm -hmm. gooey mmm <laughs> it's a little bit popper. Spicy. I'll get the lemonade too. Popper pop. Get the lemonade in the shop. Spicy. Refreshing. Cool. <laughs> That's what the video's gotta be. It's gotta be fun because I'm a jerk. So I gotta do one fun video every once in a while. I hope you're having a fun day. I'm having an especially good day. Because it was the Super Bowl yesterday and that was pretty sweet mm -hmm. I'll give the poppers I'll give them a, a seven and a half out of ten that just seems like the perfect number today mm -hmm. that is so good I hope you're enjoying watching this video it really does mean a lot to me the popper is just a little bit gooey, chewy, not too much. Perfect flavor. Have some more in a little bit. It's just so good. I need to do a freaking some other food review videos, but they don't have jalapeno poppers. So that's a huge con for that video. But then pearlish for this one, jalapeno poppers. So there you go. Pop. Bam. I'm done with that fooling around shit. This is so good. Like, this is definitely... <laughs> it's top, man. Like, the breading. I'm just a little crunchy. It's not too overbearing. Yeah. Seven and a half. Maybe eight out of ten. <laughs> On a good day. Since it is a good day, I'll say overall seven and a half is where it stays. But that doesn't mean they're not pretty good. Now, every single one of these has been seven and a half. The sub, the fries, poppers so far. That's a mozzarella cheese stick. Now, usually I have them with some pizza sauce, but I'll just try it plain for now. Because sometimes that's how I like it. Mm. Right here. Look. There's a freaking. There's a fry hidden in the bottom. <laughs> there's a fry hidden in the bottom. Do you see it? It's hidden. <laughs> The fry in the bag. Just hidden in the poppers. <laughs> no, not the poppers. The mozzarella cheese sticks. What am I saying? It's just hidden in there. I don't know what to do about this, so I'm just going to ignore it. <laughs> but anyway, I'll have these freaking cheese sticks. I'll tell you what I think. Hopefully it's not a seven and a half, because that would be lame. not too chewy it's not too gooey it's a good cheese I can definitely taste it that is pretty good actually let me have another bite man mm. Mm. Bah. <laughs> this 
is why I just love food review. That's why I love watching review bra. I love watching people just go to places and just eat tons of food. Watch SB Nation food. Tons of places have just really good food. I always love ordering different types of food from different places and just just seeing what you get. It's awesome, man. What I I don't know. One more bite. I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a seven and a half out of ten. It's not the best. It's not the worst, but it's pretty good. The cheese is good, actually. But yeah, I think seven and a half is a good number. Get some of this off my face, man. But. Final item. The cookie. I know you're not supposed to always eat the dessert. Well, actually, the lemonade counts too. Alright. The lemonade, I will give this a way better rating. I'll give this a 10. I don't know if it's what kind of lemonade they have there but they did a good job this is just smacking lemonade it's perfect it's sweet good taste I, I love it mm. worth it so worth now give that a 10 everything else is a seven and a half except the cookie I'll give it a try have my dessert early have your cookie and eat it too. Alright, so I got the chocolate chip one. I'll try the oatmeal raisin maybe another time. But let's dig in. Chocolate chip's classic anyway. Mmm. Melty. Not too crunchy. Mmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got really bad manners. You're not supposed to talk with your mouth full. This cookie is really good. The chocolate chips are just really chocolatey, but not too chocolatey. They're so good. It's a little bit crunchy, but they're not too crunchy. It's got like a soft layer. It's got a top layer. Perfect. The sizzle, the finesse. These cookies are really good. Are they better than Subway cookies? I don't know. But damn, this is pretty good. It's not the best, it's not the worst. It's pretty good though. Mm. Would I say it's better than like my favorites, the macadamia nut cookies from like Subway? Those are really good. And from other places too. I'll, I'll give this an 8 out of 10. So overall average for today's score. It's about eight, eight and a half out of ten for all the items you see here, and they have like obviously chicken subs. They have freaking uh, salads there, Italian stuff. Now I could try some other chubby subs in the future, but I'll probably do some other food restaurants first, and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. This cookie's really good. This food's really good. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. I really do appreciate it if you did. And just let me know how you're doing. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy this kind of content. If you have requested me to do a food review video, let me know in the comments. Or just shoot me another message. Just let me know. And I'll get to it soon. And I'm still working on some of the ones that have been requested. So hang tight. This cookie is so good. <laughs> little bite to wash it down with some lemonade hope you enjoy like and subscribe peace out have a good day